Welcome back to my channel everyone. Now that you have your free sky radio, one of the most important tools you will need is the software Ethos Suit as it will help you in many ways. So let's show it in this video. Right, so first let's download and install Ethos Suit here. Uh, go to Google and type in Ethos Free Sky and the search results show up like this and you want to hit the link Free Sky Ethos here and it should bring you the website of Ethos, okay? And here basically Ethos explain, uh, this website explain all the operating system of Ethos. If you want to read about it, uh, for us we just want to hit download firmware here and it should bring you, us to the GitHub space website here. And here's the link, GitHub is where FreeSky Ethos release all the software here. The latest is 1.4.15, okay? So as you can see, it uh, describes all the change of all the family, X20, X18S, okay? And under asset here, it contains all the download for the radio, of different radio here, okay? Uh, you have the twin series, the X12, X14, X18, uh, and the X20. But you don't see Ethos suit here. So what you do is just go on to the previous release. In this case, um, let's go to release 1.4.14 here. And again, um, it has all the description, all the change here. Okay, and here we go. It has the latest Ethos suit. So we want to download this Ethos suit here from 1.4.14 release. And hit asset, and you go down here, and here. Ethos suit, they have one for the Mac version and one for the window version and I have windows so I'm gonna hit the window version to download this to install okay and here is the status download the uh, down arrow and I'm downloading it right now and it's in progress okay and after it's finished just uh, click this arrow and it should show you in the folder so I'm just gonna hit here and click here, show folder here, and here it's download to that my download uh, folder. Okay, then so let's minimize this window here, and we have the download folder and the executable. So just double click this to install it, and when you install it, window will have a protection. But I'm gonna run it anyway because it's not any harmful to us. Run it anyway, and it should install it right now. Okay, and the agreement uh, dialog box appears, so just scroll down and hit uh, I agree. Okay, and it's gonna install to this directory and hit install and it should be installing. So that was easy, that was done, right? So let's, um, let's minimize this window right here. Okay, and bring in the icon, the Ito suit icon, and show to you what it looks like. Okay, and let's get started right here. Okay, guys, here's the Ito suit. This is what it looks like. So we download Ito suit 1.4.14. You can download to your latest whenever they release, but this is the latest version. As you can see here, the next step we need to do is to connect your radio and back up your plane files if you have existing plane file. If not, you don't have to. You can skip this step. So in your radio, uh, you want to power up the button right here and bring up on your free sky radio. Okay, and after it power up, uh, just skip that okay. And then you connect to your USB uh, uh, port into the radio in the back here. Okay, then basically the screen will appear like this and you want to select Ethosuit connection, okay? And as soon as you do that, you can see the radio X20S is recognized on the Ethosuit software, right? Okay, so for if different radio, it'll be a different radio rec uh, version up here. So mine is the X20S, so let's hit Ethos here. And as you can see, it's reading it and it can tell you that the firmware version, bootloader version, and all the module and SD card is out of date, okay? Okay, and basically you can hit here, down here, this model manager, but let's hit first use guide and you can read and uh, it have the detailed description of how to use this if you want to read it, okay? So now let's go back to, we need to, before we 
update our firmware we want to go to model manager and first of all we need to back up our file if you have existing file just to be safe before you download the latest ver version okay so hit the folder there and in your pc select a directory that you want to download and back up your uh, plain file for my case uh, i'm going to create a new folder here and i'm going to name it uh, let's type in my free sky here and i'm going to back up all my plain file into this directory okay so that's what you do and you just hit back up and it will take like maybe five to ten minutes uh, just select everything here you want to hit remark you can type in a comment if you want but for me i'm just going to hit it back up here and it should take uh, five to seven minutes uh, depend on how big your model file is so we'll skip forward and fast forward and let it play here so we can move to the next step Okay, after everything is done, so my backup is complete, so it's back up to a zip file. I'll hit OK here, and uh, it's under my C, my free sky, so I, you, you can look at what it looks like. I'm going to bring it up, and it's a zip file, okay, and uh, let's, let's, uh, let's look what, what is under it, okay. So double click that, okay, and this is all the backup, so you're safe now. So then now you can install your firmware. In case if, if any problem you can restore this backup so you don't have lose any time for it okay so that's great so I cannot stress enough before you update your firmware please back up all your file if you have any file okay so it's in a zip file so you can be uh, good to go okay so on to the next step update your radio firmware and the latest ISRM so here in the ethos suit hit ethos here and we have all the our update version, bootloader, everything here. So simply enough, it's a release 1.4.15 is the latest. And let's just go down and select write update component here. Select that. Okay, and then hit this button right here and sit back and relax and let it do it work. After a few minutes, it should be done. Now it's done. So let's hit close here. Okay, and as you can see, all the firmware is up to date. The version, bootloader version, the module version, or the SD card and flash is up to date. And everything is gravy and easy. Okay, so uh, let's, the next thing we need to do is update the FRSK flasher, which is the ISRM module. ISRM stands for internal serial RF module here. So I'll hit that, and as you can see here, uh, there's a selection up here. As you can see, there's the X20 Pro, the X20 HD here, okay, and X18S. Okay, I have X20S, so I'm gonna select that, and the latest version is 2.2.6, and I'm gonna hit flash to flash it directly to my radio and it should be a few minutes and it should be done right here and successfully flash so let's just hit close and we are done with this step and as usual uh, remember to eject your drive before you pull the USB connection out okay guys the next step we want to play around is with the audio tool right here okay uh, we want to work with the audio tool from the Ito suit but before we do that we need to do one thing uh, we need to record uh, our audio file. So I have an iPhone. You can use your Android too. For my iPhone, I'm going to search for a voice memo. And I'm sure Android have something similar. So I'm going to hit voice memo. And I'm going to select the all recording here. And I'm going to press the button and record uh, a, a, a voice Landing here. Gear. I'm record a recording. I'm going to stop. Okay. And let's play it here again. Landing gear. Landing gear up. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, and next step is I'm gonna, how do I share this? I'm gonna share it, let me see, what is the option here? And let's do share. Okay, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna send it to my, my email account and save it into the PC file. So here we have, after downloading the file from my email, I have the file here on the left side. So copy it to my existing My Free Sky Temp directory so I can use it in the Ethos suit for audio conversion. Okay, so back in Ethos, just hit audio tool 
and the audio tool, audio tool will let you convert this into the format that uh, FreeSky can recognize. So I'm going to convert this audio tool, new recording here. Okay, I'm going to select this, and the out folder output path is my FreeSky also. Okay, and select the folder and hit convert. So the transform conversion is finished. Hit close here, and as you can see, um, it created. Hit close here. Okay, and let's take a look here, and it created a new recording dot wave here. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the old one that I sent from my email. Okay, and this is a new conversion file here dot wave. I'm gonna rename it. Let's uh, rename it something uh, so that we can uh, remember a landing gear up, okay? And from this file, from the PC, we want to transfer this onto our FreeSky radio. So I'm going to switch to bootloader here. And basically, it's going to mount the drive of the X20 drive, okay? And I'm going to bring up the window here, okay? Okay, bring up a window here, and we have our X20 that is mount and the SD card, and go under the audio here, and basically just bring that file over. Landing gear up, bring it, copy it over to the audio of the X20S SD card. Okay, and let's eject the drive here. Okay, and remove the USB. And let's go to our FreeSky radio here. Um, uh, when you eject the drive, you can now you can safely pull the USB connection out. Uh, and then we're in bootloader mode. All you need to do is power down now. Okay, power down and power up again. So welcome to Epos. Fail safe, not set. Let's hit uh, OK to skip this step. Okay, now let's go to just assign that uh, audio file onto the radio and see it work. Okay, so on our screen here, uh, let's select the flight icon here. Okay, and special function here. And as you know, you can select the play track. I have the play track already for SF1 for landing gear down. Okay, and the play track enable SF1 to uh, bring down a landing gear. You can hear that. As now, I'm gonna put in the file, and I'm gonna select landing gear up. Okay, and now everything is working. So let's go back here and let's select the landing gear up. Landing gear down. There. Landing gear up. There you hear it. You can hear my uh, my voice down. audio recording now. So landing you can personalize record your audio and put onto the X20. That's a great thing to do. Guys, in this step, I already had assigned a special function to play the sound based on the switch. For detailed instruction, you can refer to this video I attached and link on the top right corner here for guiding you. Thanks. Right, so next step, let's play with the image tool on the Ethos uh, application suit here, okay? So before we do that, let's take a picture of our plane here, your own image uh, using iPhone or Android phone. I'm going to take a snapshot of my Draco here, okay? And then let's go back to our PC here and basically let's mount the Apple iPhone and I'm going to look for that picture I just took and it's under here somewhere, okay? And then I'm just going to copy it to my existing My Free Sky directory which we created earlier, okay? And it's in the JPEG form. So we need to convert that to a bitmap file. So here in the ethos, basically you just hit uh, image tool right here, okay? And you just add here, select the picture that JPEG that we just took and the output path, let's put it into my free sky directory. And we, we want a 300 by 280 pixel, okay? Can hit convert and it create a bitmap file here. So I'm just going to name this as uh, uh, Draco so I can remember it, okay? And type in Draco here, <coughs> all right? And then basically uh, we need to mount our, uh, our FreeSky radio here, okay? So let's uh, go to Ethos here and switch to bootloader here, okay? And plug in your USB connection to your um, uh, X20, 
and now you have your X20 SD card here uh, mounted okay and under models here and under uh, bitmap here that is I'm gonna copy it over here the the Draco picture under models okay so Draco I'm just gonna copy it over right here under bitmap model onto my S20 SD card so now we have it here okay and then we can eject the drive here and move on to our radio and then our free sky radio uh, let's uh, pull out the USB connection back here so let's pull it out okay and then now we can power down safely all right and wait a little bit and then power up the radio again to use our uh, bitmap Draco picture okay power up and we skip this okay here and select the airplane icon down here we have the previous picture okay and then just go to edit model and I had the Jazz 39 but I'm going to change the picture mode to the picture I just took and let's scroll down here and look for the Draco here that I just took from the iPhone right there okay select that and there's the picture that I converted over and then now we have our Draco picture a custom picture that we just take perfect right so there it is guys the in and out of Itosu tools that is so important to our radio guys if you find it helpful share it to our RC community and appreciate if you subscribe to support my channel thank you for watching guys